also Neo of the Matrix movies was in Room 101. Yes, I read all your comments and the valuable information in your feedback. Thank you, Belsey, for your important comments. Also, the French Peugeot have a 101 moped from the 60s, so you can find your way quicker to room 101, or maybe the 101 getaway bike to escape from room 101. So here it says the 101 Peugeot, yeah, the 101 Peugeot is from the 60s. See, life was different then, eh? Much nicer, much friendlier. In Switzerland, many political prisoners got suicided and murdered in the Swiss Room 101 and tortured through code O2T oxygen deprivation, as the Swissies did to me. And to the Austrian whistleblower Wolfgang Umfogel, who got murdered in 2010 by the Swissies in their room 101 because he sold information on Swiss tax evasion. And if you criticize the Swiss banks, which I did as well, you're dead. They'll kill you. So here's the Kronenzeitung Wolfgang Umfogel, was his name, October 2010. So here's the whistleblower. If I wouldn't be on the road, I, I could have shown you a better picture, you know, in color and everything. So also my name was in it, as you can read here, Sean Ross, the historian. And so when the Swissies, they read this, my name, they sent me an anti-terrorist squad, the Ancian from Bern, to intimidate me like a mafia and to frighten me. Like, which of course did not happen. They didn't frighten me, I mean. And they took over my words. Der Mann wurde gesellschmordet. The man got suicided. And the O2T torture method, Folter, that means torture. And uh, so this destroyed the life. This article destroyed the life of me and my family and my children. We got all terrorized. And uh, now I, I couldn't be with my family for the last eight years. I haven't been in Swaziland. So they murdered the, um, the whistleblower from Austria because uh, tax evasion. And they put them in room 101. Here's a list of prisoners getting murdered in room 101 in Swiss torture detention centers for political prisoners. Unfortunately, the list is only going back to 2018, which is only like five years. So here is the JVA, Justizvollzugsanstalt, it means a prison, in Landsburg, AG, that is Argo, which is a canton in Switzerland. And here's the date, there was uh, December 21st, uh, winter solstice, eh, when they do a lot of um, satanic rituals. This year, 2023, it's a suicide, suicide. And I don't know what this means here. Okay. The next one, before that, that was in September 2023, the prison of Zolotun. Here is the, every time, here's the canton, Zolotun. Suicide. A natural death. Okay, you're in prison. So this is in June 25th, 2023, in the canton of Zug. Okay, you died just naturally in prison. Okay, sure, yeah. Here they don't even say how the person died. Also in June, in the prison in Biel, a town, in the canton of Bern, that's B-E. And here another one in Biel, um, a, a week before, or two weeks before, they don't say why he died, you know. 
So it's mostly suicide, I suppose. So I'll let you look at it yourself. Eh? And I also was in this prison here, Torbeck, which is in a prison. He died of a medical problem. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, he probably got suicided and took an overdose on pills, and then it's a medical problem, you know. Uh, there's a foreigner, not even a criminal, you know, uh, in Geneva. G-E is Geneva, suicide. And this one here is in Zurich. It says unbekannt. It says we don't know. I, we don't. They don't know why he died, or they don't. They don't want to give any information. I was also in this prison here, a horrible place. That was uh, December two thousand and twenty-two. Let's see if there's another solstice. No, there wasn't. You'll probably see more. And um, there's also in the Canton of Bern a suicide. This one, er hanged, means uh, hanged himself or herself in Fribourg, the canton, FR. So here you see all the dates, eh? And here you see what prison and the way of death. And um, so this one, BL is Basel land. It's Basel. There's also BS. No, it's not what you mean, but that means Baselstadt, the town of Basel. Uh, Swiss, I was also in a prison in BS, in the town of Basel. They put me everywhere, and I'm not even a criminal. What a, what a shame this, you know. A suicide and a suicide, a natural death, another natural death. Zurich here, this is SG, is Sankt Gallen, where the first, where the the grandfather of eugenicism came from, Ernst Rudin. Uh, I know some more suicide here, prison in, in Zurich, Gefängnis, it means prison. Baseland, Freiburg, suicide, suicide, unbekannt, they don't know. VS is Wallis, where they have the, uh, where, where, they, where most of the Swiss guard are coming from because it's Catholic, mostly. And um, so here yeah, again, Zurich, Witzwil, they put me here as well. Witzwil was a for forced labor. I had to, def I had to do forced labor, and then I escaped, uh, and I was away. For I walked for days, and I was away for two years. But of course, I wanted to see my children, and they got me again. I was away in France for two years. They put me everywhere. So I escaped from this prison. I, I did everything, and I'm not a criminal, you know. This country is a shame. It's it's a complete shame. It's it's based upon upon lie after lie after lie. This is the canton of Vaud, where um, the guy from Genesis is living. Uh, Peter, no, what's his name? Oh, I forgot his name. So here, suicide, suicide. It's the French-speaking part. Also, a lot of suicide. This is a very horrible one, push Vs, a lot of psychiatric uh, cases. I wasn't there, thank God. Uh, here, hanged. It's almost the same word, you know, hanged. If you leave away the er, it says hanged. The a umlaut, it's like an e, it's hanged. Uh, this is in Bern, St. Gallen, St. Gallen. Angezündet, it means he made a fire. Terrible, terrible, terrible. What a country. What a terrible place. Oh, so we are in 2021. Let's see if there was a winter now. Yeah, almost. Well, you know, New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah, okay, here's a winter solstice. The 22nd is part of the um, of the realm of the of the 21st winter solstice. Of course. And here the police murdered him. Polizeihaft. Probably another foreigner, you know. This is how they do it. They hide everything, that country. Um, well, Etc. I'll let you read it yourself. Otherwise it takes too long, right? Yeah, another solstice in 2019 in the realm. 
They don't say how he died. Winter solstice, a lot of people die under various, well, under very strange circumstances. This one was in a psychiatrical prison, hanged. Oh man, this is horrible. Sprung aus Fenster, he jumped out of a uh, out of a window. A verwahrung, it means you did something for which you got like five years and they can keep you away forever. They tried to do this with me, you know, to keep me away forever for, for bloody nothing, for bloody nothing. You know, intoxication, well, they probably drugged him with something, right? Mm. All this is hanged, hanged, hanged. The Varkhof. I was in this one as well, in BS, Baselstadt. In this one, I was also in another one, Schelle Medley. They put me everywhere. Yeah, sprung aus Fenster, jump out of a window. So, and it only goes to like uh, 2017. So the beginning of 2018, another one hanged here. So that's only five years. And I've been away from Switzerland over all these times from 2015. So, you know, they're asking cookies everywhere. So I stopped looking in the newspapers. And um, yeah, this is uh, room 101 in Switzerland, Murder Incorporated by the Swissies and their Nazi Templars. When I was still in Switzerland before 2015, I used to document all the suicide cases in Swiss prisons I could find in the media. And then my entire channel got taken off and I stopped collecting the Room 101 evidence of actual cases in Switzerland. I remember that about every three days there was a Room 101 case of a prison inmate being tortured and suicided in the Swiss newspapers. Most of the prisoners in Switzerland are foreigners who are innocently in prison because the Swissies just lie something together to eliminate someone not Swiss. From the master's base of Pharaoh in the Alps back to the master's pharaonic symbols in the movies as pharaonic obelisks without end in the 2019 thriller Angel Has Fallen, which you can see here. So you think they're not pharaohs and yet showing all those obelisks everywhere. Here you can see the title, Angel Has Fallen. So for those who are believers, they probably know what that means. This is the symbol of the pharaonic domination here too. You're gonna, they even take pictures like this. Here's the obelisk and here the White House here too. And the White House in Demotic Pharaonic is the Per Het. Per, it means the house and Het, it means white, which is Upper Egypt in the south. There were two Egypts. And the White House, the Per Het, is the New World Order, whereas the Red House is the Old World Order, which is called the Per Tazer. And it's not a house to live in, like here, no. It's an aristocratic pharaonic house, a royal house. So in all these movies, they show it all the time and everywhere in towns and capitals and streets. So you still believe we're not being ruled by them from Egypt, these pharaohs? Come on, wakey wakey, open up your eyes. And here in the movie G.I. Joe Retaliation from 2013, full of images of their great American obelisk under different angles. At a certain moment, our masters, the ones in power, 
show a huge octagon where they're all standing on, as to say, the ground where we stand on belongs to the octagon and gets protected by the octagon. So here's the octagon and the ground is in the US, which belongs to them. And here in connections, here you see the obelisk, and here the White House. So the octagon in the White House, in connection with the octagon, as to say, the White House and the ob obelisk is under control of the octagon. Don't you think that these creatures show all the beloved pharaonic symbols from Egypt without any reason? I've been telling you all these years that the octagon rules over America. I even made videos, octagon rules over Pentagon. You see it here, they even show it, you know, they rub it right into your faces. And I've been publishing this the first time already 13 years ago. This year, in October 2023, some religious and very friendly jaywalkers with those curly sideburns took me hitchhiking in France as they just came back from the Ukraine by car where they celebrated Rabbi Nachman. They fed me, invited me for a coffee and gave me a booklet called Tikkun Haklali in Hebrew with a French translation. Uh, what I read. So here it says Tikkun Haklali. And here it says Rabbi Nachman, who is like a jaywalker saint. But I always look at the symbols. I read the whole book, by the way. Um, it interested me and out of respect because these guys were really nice. You know, I don't think, well, I'm sure they don't know what's going on you know they just follow pharaoh's religion and um, very dogmatically and they don't see these sort of things so here's a square why is there a square you know and here is a circle why did they put the letters in a circle i mean it's much easier to read like this isn't it you have to turn your head around like this you know to read it so with a compass, you can make a circle. So for the initiated ones, it says square and compass. So that means this whole religion is in the hands of pharaohs and the Freemasons. And the adepts, you know, they don't even know what's going on. They think they're doing a good thing, uh, believing in, 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 in the creator and all this, but they don't. It's all in the hands of Freemasonry. Look at the symbols. They don't lie. You know, and again, these guys, they were, they were nice guys. You know, they were friendly with me. No harm, you know, no, there was nothing wrong with these guys. And it's the same with all these religions, you know. They all think they're doing something good, you know. Uh, but really, we're being lied to by Pharaoh, you know. Here it says, Tikkun Haklali. And I'll show you some more people. And here it says in French, Souviens-toi, Seigneur, pour la perte de fils des dômes du jour... Fatal de Jérusalem, où il disait, démolissez, la démolissez, la jusqu'en ses fondements. So, uh, it says, uh, remember, O oh Lord, um, the, uh, the loss of the sons of Edom, Edom, and of the, the, uh, the, 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 the day of Jerusalem, where they said, destroy it, destroy it all the way down to the, um, completely. So the, uh, the sons of Edom, they asked the Lord to destroy Jerusalem, apparently, which is interesting. I mean, it's historically seen. I only see it historically, and I look at the facts. These are the facts, the symbols of these creatures. And I don't mean the jaywalkers, the people, but the pharaohs, you know, these creatures, they leave their symbols like everywhere. And don't you think these religious adepts that they knew uh, this and what's really going on? They have no idea. And to my surprise, 
The Jay Walker booklet had the fleur de lis on it, the royal symbol of Pharaoh's nobility in France. I suppose because their Messiah, called the Moshiach ben David, just as Jesus, is from the royal house of King David, thus proving again that all religion comes out of Pharaoh's nobility, with their fleur de lis showing the concept of three, which is them, our masters. So here it says again, Tikkun Haklali, la réparation universelle, traduction et phonétique. Uh, in French, you know, here it's like in Hebrew, yeah, Tikkun Haklali, and here it is in French. And here we see the fleur de lis. Now, what is the symbol of the, the French royal pharaoh's nobility? You know, the symbol of the French king, not even the Jay Walker king, you know, but that's where they all come from. They all come out of Pharaoh. Why is this doing on their book, you know? And this guy, the uh, Rabbi Nachman, uh, he, he probably never even seen France. He's from Ukraine, or he was from the Ukraine. So here's this text in, uh, in Hebrew. Oh, I don't speak that, so I'm not going to read it for you. The one about the Edom guys, it even says Edom. Uh, who wanted to have this Jerusalem destroyed. And um, yeah, so we saw the square and compass, fleur de lis. So at the front side, there's a fleur de lis. At the back side of the book, there was the square and compass. So it's all the same, you know, in all religions. And they all come out of the house of David. It's King David. It's not J. Walker David, for God's sake. It's King David, and he was a bad person. You know, remember the story of Bathsheba, you know, he really liked that woman, so, but she was married, so he sent um, her man, who was an officer in his army of King David, uh, at, at, uh, at, the, um, at the front, so he died. So he could, um, you know, do whatever he wanted with her, which he did. You know, and he already had about a thousand concubines, you know, King David. And the son of King David is King Solomon, who was married with the daughter of Pharaoh, uh, and a lot of others probably as well, who made the um, the Temple of Solomon, you know, and the Seal of Solomon, you know, the um, this thing like, you know, what the Jay Walkers have in the, uh, on their JJ Bay's flag, you know, and up. An upwards triangle and a downwards triangle, you know, together. You know what I mean? I probably, it's the seal of Solomon, you know. And the Yachin and Boaz, they are in the temple of Solomon, you know. So people, all the slaves of the world, please wake up, you know. We're being lied. Religion is a lie. You know, the politics is a lie. History is a lie. And I, look at the proofs, you know. Fleur de Lis, you know. And the square and compass. You can't miss this, eh? So, all you religious freaks, get your heads out of the sand, you know, and, and look around, you know? If there is a God, he gave you, he gave you eyes and a brain to think with, you know? This will, this, only this will save you, you know? No, nothing else will save you. And especially not some entity in the air, as you know, an invisible entity. Uh, this is what the jaywalkers do all the time, you know. They um, they don't defend themselves. They're hoping the uh, these ones here probably, and the other ones on the other side with the square and compass, and 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 the invisible thing in the in the sky will help them. Then they don't defend themselves and they run away. And if they can't run away, they get caught and they get all murdered and genocided. And they blame anyone, everybody else for not helping them. You know, it's a reality, you know. I mean, help yourself, you know. Why don't you help yourself? You can't blame anyone else, everybody else for that, not helping you. You know, in a war, everybody is afraid, you know, of, of the enemy and of the Nazis. Everybody, all Europeans were afraid. Even the Germans were. Oh, boy, look at the signs. Please open your eyes, everyone.
And again, these orthodox jaywalker guys, you know, they were nice guys, really. And they didn't have a clue what's really going on, you know. They're all in this dogmatic religion and everything, just as all the religions. Uh, I mean, they were helpful to me. They fed me. They were brotherly. I'm not a jaywalker. Uh, they, I, I just told them shalom, you know, opened the door, you know, and, and we had a nice conversation. And they were poor guys, you know, I could see that they had an old shabby car, you know, and, and shabby clothes, and they were poor guys, because they don't work, you know, it's it's the women work, you know, these orthodox ones. So, it's it's all a myth, you know, about the, the, the rich jaywalkers and all that, you know, they were poor guys, the, the car was almost falling apart, and already four guys in it, they were tired. All the way from the Ukraine, and they, and they took me, you know, with my two huge backpacks, you know. I had to squeeze the jaywalkers, you know, to the uh, to the side of the car almost, you know. Uh, it's sad, you know, that the slaves we don't understand what's going on, or you know. And again, the square and compass. I mean, the symbols don't lie. And it says here, Male Vegadish Foundation, printing and distribution of the books of Rabbi Nachman. I suppose the Rabbi Nachman was probably a good guy, but these ones here, Male Vegadish, no, 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 they absolutely know what's going on. They're indoctrinating the slaves. Uh, maybe also this Rabbi Nachman, he um, he belonged to them, you know, the pharaohs telling them, you know, all these things. Well, the Germans, you know, the Nazis are not that bad, and the Germans they are philosoph philosophical people, don't defend yourselves, you know, and all this. That, that's what the rabbis did, you know. And then there were the uh, the Bielski brothers, you know, and they said, no way, I'm, we're going to defend ourselves. And this is what I like. You know, these are the, the Bielski brothers. They are real jaywalkers, you know, defend yourself, you know, because everything is indoctrinated. Everything is infiltrated by these ones. The religion, the politics, the history, every thing you can see it here and again this is the base of a pyramid there are four corners it's a concept of four and at the base are the slaves you know they are, they are the lowest place in a pyramid and then the hierarchy is up in the pyramid you know and the the, the um the compass and the, the the side of a pyramid is the concept of three there are three corners in it and uh, the uh, compass is about uh, 60 degrees in the in, the, in the, uh, the logo, the square and compass. And with 60 degrees, you can make a, um, a, a triangle with three 60 degrees corners. So with the compass, you can make this. And this stands for the triangle and the compass and the, the concept of three, which is the hierarchy, which is them, our masters. And you can see here the concept of three and the masters, they're surrounding the slaves all around, you know, there's nowhere to go. You know, it's all dense, you know. See what you see what I mean. Of course, the Freemason Lodge in this beautiful Russian movie Silver Skates is also a 101 with Solomon's pillars for the one and the round eye of Horus. For the O, one O one. So here the the movie Silver Skates, as I told you before, the all-seeing eye of Horus. It's round. It stands for the O, and the one. It stands for a pillar. And here the other one, the pillar. So in this symbol, it says one O one. And with this here, we can see that the number 101, it's out of the, it's out of Pharaoh's nobility, the masters, because it's the same. And here we know this is Pharaonic, and this is also because Solomon, 
Solomon's pillars, the Yachin and Boaz, he was married with the daughter of Pharaoh. They were, they're all Pharaohs. The whole Pharaoh's nobility, huh, they are Pharaohs. So here, this is very important because here you can see the connection between 101 and the movies and our masters, the Pharaohs. All these movies are by the Pharaohs. I mean, why else do they show the 101, and, and which is exactly the same as what we see here? You see? And here we see the colors again, blue and red. Uh, they are the, the pharaonic colors, uh, two of the three pharaonic colors, blue for the war, and red is the red house of Pharaoh, which is the old world order, the Pertasser. And the old world order uh, are the, the, the true uh, uh, pharaohs of the nobility. And this video is about pharaoh's nobility. And that's why the color red with the color blue for the war. And here, the original Guido von Liszt swastika with the concept of three and four, making it a pyramid, as I showed you in my video. The video in which I show how the pyramid becomes a Templar's cross and then a swastika can be seen here in this channel under the title from pyramid to Templar's cross to swastika and von Liszt is an aristocratic name just as his pal Jörg Lanz von Liebenfels who was a Cistercian monk and founded the organization of the new Templars. The Cistercian order are the predecessors of the Knights Templars and the only monastic order who could carry a sword legally by a papal law. And their cloaks are white, like the Knights Templars. It just needs a red cross on the Cistercian cloak, which is done easily and pretty quickly. So Hitler was in his youth devoted to the works of Guido von Liszt and Jörg Lanz von Liebenfels and their new Templar order. The Nazi Templars, as I've already told you. So here it says Guido von Liszt, das Geheimnis der Run, the secret of the runes. And here you can see this, it's a square. And in the square, the, for the concept of four, there are three triangles for the concept of three. So it says square and compass. And I show it like this in that video I just told you about. How it becomes finally the pyramid becomes a Templar's cross. Because if you make the line here, you know, you get a Templar's cross. You see, like this. And then it becomes a swastika just like this. And also Hermann Göring, he found it on the Swedish castle um, of his wife uh, Karen, who was a Swedish aristocrat. They had the symbol on the castle, I think where the um, where the fire fireplace uh, is. Exactly this way, the swastika is being uh, des um, designed like this here. And then the Nazis, they made it a little bit like this, a little bit different. But this is the original swastika. So here it definitely also says square and compass. Here is the square for the compass concept of four. And the concept of three is here, standing for the compass. So all the initiated ones, it, they read square and compass, and it all comes out of a pyramid. And there were extremely many Freemasons within the Nazi party, within the Nazis, like Hitler's banker, for example, Yalma Schacht, who founded uh, with some others the Bank of International Settlements, etc., etc. It's all related. If you look at the SS symbol, you know, the, the skull and bones, and the, um, it's, it's total Freemasonry. Nazism is total Freemasonry. 
Well, here you see the square and compass when they use the skull and bones, like the 322 skull and bones uh, Freemason Lodge in America. And here are the Nazis, the Totenkopfverbände, also skull and bones. So this is nothing new. I've been telling you this for 13 years on YouTube. And this here actually is the, uh, the winged sun disc of Horus. This is the sun. And these are the wings of Horus, the falcon. It's not an eagle, it's a falcon. And the pharaohs, they have exactly the same symbol all over. It's the winged sun disk of Horus. Okay, uh, Ma'at, Isis, they also have wings, but not with the sun, the sun disk. And uh, well, and here's the swastika, which comes out of a pyramid. So it's all here. It's entirely pharaonic, the whole thing. So this here, Nazis, is the same as Freemasons and um, the Nazi Templars, and all comes out of Pharaoh. So this symbol here is called the winged sun disk of Horus. And there's also the 101 in it. You've got one bar here, a one bar here, and here's the sun, which I've shown you in all my videos, showing you on the front of the houses, the sun hieroglyph. It's also this thing, actually. This is also 101. 101 is the, um, is the symbol in ciphers. And this one here is exactly the same as this. It represents the same thing. Also, Freemasonry comes out of Pharaoh, as I've already explained to you. Nazis, they come out of Pharaoh, the Nazi Templars, the Templars are of the nobility, and the nobility comes out of Pharaoh. So, Nazis, it's the same thing as the Horus, the winged sun disk of Horus. So here is about the winged sun, like this here, like the Nazis. And uh, it's in an ancient Egyptian text, uh, the horrors of Edfu. And uh, you, you find this symbol in all cultures back. Oh, here it is again, the winged sun, the winged sun disk of Horus. You find it here. Look, here it is, like the Nazis, the round thing where the, they have the swastika in the middle that comes out of Egypt, two times the all-seeing eye, the concept of three. This hieroglyph actually is the hieroglyph for the sun, like this here. Um, in all ancient cultures here in the hieroglyphs in Egypt, like the Nazis, same thing, people. And here with the two Uraeus snakes, the Egyptian cobra, it's also the winged sun disk in a way. Oh, the wings are here. The winged sun disk. And here as well, Nazis everywhere. Eh? And here, uh, this is uh, Mesopotamia. And as I've been telling you, this Mesopotamia is not older than Egypt. I mean, here's another proof. Here are the feathers, the whole picture is not on it. It's, uh, it's a falcon. This is Horus. This is the winged sun disk of Horus in Mesopotamia. So Mesopotamia is not older than Egypt. Otherwise, our masters would be showing Mesopotamia all the time. You know, but they're not. They're showing Egypt. That's where it all comes from. Here too. It's even got a Templar's cross in the middle. Well, what do you, what do you know, eh? Uh, and here as well. So this is the winged sun disk of Horus in Mesopotamia, Babylonia, Babylon, which is all out of Egypt. Right? Mesopotamia is not older. So this Anunnaki... Sumerian stuff out of Mesopotamia, it's not older than Egypt, because this is the winged sun disk of Horus. This is probably Horus, 
and it's a falcon. Here are the feathers, two hands here. I don't know what that means. And the Anunnaki here, the Sumerian stuff, it's the winged sun disk, like the Nazis. And here again. So the Anunnaki stuff, it's all out of Egypt. It's the beginning of everything, where right? the whole civilization and the uh, where these creatures come from. You know? And we are their slaves, like in the Anunnaki stories. The winged sun disk of Horus. And Horus is like Horus. Horus, Horus. This here is a very ancient pharaonic text which was translated in Edfu out of the um, uh, hieroglyphs uh, about which I'm going to tell you about the next time in relation to another Hollywood film. And this is very important, but it will take too long in this video now. So I want to show you about this here. I'll get you here. You can see the winged sun disk of uh, Horus. I'll give you a better picture. So here you can see the winged sun disk with the Urei serpents, the winged disk. And here it says Pharaoh was identified with Horus since the beginning of history. Horakti, Horus of the horizon, the morning sun. The combination of uh, Ra and Horakti, which was the main god of Heliopolis in historic times. So that's Alexandria, Heliop Hel Heliopolis. And the Horus of Edfu came to be identified with Re Horakti. Only a pair of falcon wings. So you see the Nazis, you know. You can't understand the Nazis without understanding Egypt and going back like 4,000 years in history. You can't understand the Freemasons either if you don't understand this here. And only a pair of falcon wings were a symbol for the heaven. Under the fifth dynasty, a sun disk was inserted between the wings called Beheti, he of the colorful feathers, and the symbol was identified with Horus. So the Nazis are basically Horus, <laughs> if you like, you know, like Ahras, the Nazi hunter. And um, so they are, just as the Romans, these uh, wings, they are not the wings of an eagle. It's not the Roman eagle. It's the Roman falcon. It's the Nazi falcon. Eagle has nothing to do with it. It's all Horus. And uh, it's the winged sun disk of Horakti of uh, Horus. So here you see the Netflix film El Dorado, Everything the Nazis Hate. And here the German Wimbledon tennis star, the Baron uh, Gottfried von Kram, living in a castle together with Hitler. And I guess here Ernst Röhm about whom I will tell you more in a minute. So here you can read about Gottfried von Kram, Gottfried Alexander Maximilian Walter Kurt Freiherr von Kram, was a German tennis player who won the French, French championships twice and uh, reached the final of a Grand Slam singer, etc. And also the final at Wimbledon. And at the yeah, birth and childhood. He was the third of the seven sons of Baron Burkhard von Kram by his marriage to Countess Jutta von Steinberg. Kram was born at the family estate, the castle Nettlingen, uh, in Lower Saxony, and grew up in Kass Castle Brüggen. No, nothing. Oh, etc., etc. And uh, a younger brother, Wilhelm Ernst Freyern von Kram, was a German officer who was highly decorated. Uh, well, I'll let you read it yourself. Here's about his tennis career. 
and imprison, imprisonment for same-sex affair. Uh, well, he survived, of course. He was married here to the Baroness Elisabeth Lisa von Dobeneck, the daughter of Robert Baron von Dobeneck, and uh, and his wife. She was the granddaughter of a Jay Walker banker, Louis Hagen. Well, that's of course the nobility only marries nobility, so there was of course the Jay Walker nobility. So this was the um, the guy from the El Dorado, Gottfried von Kram, who you just saw together with Adolf Hitler. And in the Pinkless Killer Club El Dorado in Berlin, all the pink swastika Nazis came together and abused each other like are you going to dominate me, or shall I dominate you tonight? Also, the aristocratic German Wimbledon tennis player, Freiherr Gottfried von Kram, had his pinkless killer escapades in the Berlin Eldorado club together with his equally aristocratic wife, the Baroness Elisabeth von Dobeneck living their Pinkless Killer fantasies. So here you see the Pinkless Killer tennis star of Pharaoh's nobility together with Adolf Hitler. So this is the Wimbledon tennis player champion, Freiherr Gottfried von Kram, together with uh, Hitler. And this looks like Ernst Röhm, also a Pinkless Killer. So this guy, he was a pink list killer, he was married, he was everything. And maybe this is him. It looks, it looks like the same one. In this video, you can see on Netflix everything. Um, everything the Nazis hate. Well, they lied, you know. They, they didn't hate it. They, they were all pink list killers. And the film is called, or the documentary is called El Dorado. So he was also probably most likely a pink list killer. And the pink list killers, well, they hate the Muslims, they hate the Jews, because in their religion, a pink list killerism is absolutely forbidden. And the Muslims even throw them off a roof and all that. So that's why nowadays all the, uh, the, the neo-Nazi leaders, you know, they're all pink list killers again. Because now, because of the of the Muslims, so I already told you that in my videos. Today we got Alice Weidel, pink list killer leader leader of the German AFD, Jörg Haider from Austria, pink list killer Florian Filippo from the Front National, in France pink list killers, etc., etc., and there are many more. I have already made that, shown you that in a video. And in the Nazi era of the Second World War and before, you got the uh, Jutta Rüdiger, pink list killer and head of the uh, Bund Deutscher Mädels. That was the uh, the female uh, equivalent of the Hitler Youth. You got, of course, next to the children, eh? they're always attracted uh, to children. And then Baldur von Schirach, an aristocrat, head of the Head of the Hitler Youth, a pink list killer, Ernst Röhm. He was all the time in the Eldorado of the stormtroopers, the SA, the Sturmabteilung. So the same thing is repeating now as uh, Second World War against the Jaywalkers and now against the Muslims. And it's coming up. I mean, um, concentration camps are ready. So this is very important. Uh, Pharaoh's nobility, and it all leads back again to Pharaoh's nobility again. This is the uh, the pink list killer story side of the whole story, and um, so remember the sun, the uh, winged sun disc of Horus, together with all this here. And for these kind of degenerate creatures and their lies. We did two world wars and we all died.
just as we see today's leaders' behavior that hasn't changed over the centuries. The only way to stop the lies and the endless horizontal wars is through a vertical war. Only a vertical war can stop the horizontal wars.